We were going to talk about it. Halo. You was going to give me a review because you watched it because I couldn't be bothered. I liked it. I mean, it's different. And, you know, I saw one thing online. It's like, we waited so many years to see Master Chief's face. It's like, yeah, they showed him as a kid without the helmet. I mean, but it's different. Yes, it doesn't follow the storyline much. But give me the good first. That's what oh, we'll, we'll, we'll go into the good shit first. Give me I mean, everything that was good first. It's bloody. I mean, it's the first episode, so they're all kind of slow. But, you know, him fighting looked good. I mean, the way they play the USNC off like a bunch of dicks is good. I mean, it's basically now, is that like, with the in with watch, the games. Yeah. If you watch the games, the humans was actually worn with each other when the covenant come in and that's exactly what's happening these people are scared of the uh wow well, shit the spartans because they're not on usnc side and they get attacked by the covenant and then the spartans show up and actually start helping and that's like the first time that these people the spartans work together. granted everybody dies but one person so it didn't really work out for them right but yeah i mean it wasn't, I wasn't rated as the greatest show ever, but, you know, I don't think so, it deserves the shit on that everybody's giving it. Well, here's the thing, and I've realized this over the past year. A lot of the people that spend a lot of their time shitting on stuff, like hardcore, they need it to be bad to have something to talk about on a fucking live stream. They need it to be the worst fucking thing ever. So they not only are they reactionary, but they're fucking reactionary to like an obscene degree. Yep. Well, it's now, like when Heath Ledger was going to be Joker. Everybody was shitting on that. Well, like the main thing that turned me off about that show was it looked like a bunch of side of the head shaved fucking girl bosses. And that's all every fucking thing is now. No, I mean... She was actually, her father was the one that led that count, but he died saving her. She was the only one out of 150 people that lived, and they put her on the ship, and they're trying to get her to tell the rest of the people that's not with the USNC what happened, and she's under the impression that they set it up just to get her to say it because her father was this big leader, and that's basically, you know... Master Chief starts figuring this out. When they go to land, he takes the ship back over and flies off. So he's out actually on USNC's side either because he's starting to remember stuff from his past, and that's how the show ends. Now, what the hell is the deal with a human woman leading the fucking Covenant? Now, now that sounds like that's pretty off to me. But I didn't again. see any of that. I mean, you see the USNC people. You, the only thing they show with the Covenant is the people that land coming in fighting. You don't see nothing about what they're doing, but they are talking about Reach and, you know, Covenant Glass Reach. Right. So. Well, from what I've seen, that's how they're playing it up in some of the trailers that I've watched. There is a human woman, again, with the, you know, fucking side of the head shaved. And she's the one that's in charge of the fucking Covenant. Like, she's the one running the show. That seems a little off to me. But, like I said, I don't know shit about Halo. From what I understood, I didn't think the fucking uh, the Covenant liked humans that much. I mean, the Covenant's a bunch of different races of beings that's together anyways. So, I, I mean, I guess it ain't that far-fetched. I mean, you got the Brutes and the rest of them. I mean, they're all from different worlds. So. Well, I mean, you played more Halo than I have. So, I mean, yeah. you know more story and you're more into it than I am. So, that's why I deferred to you on this as a Halo fan. I am an expert. No, nah, I'm cool. no expert. I don't. I'm not that deep into Halo, but I do enjoy the games. Well, you you're more in on the story than I am. So, I wanted somebody to watch that shit that actually had a dog in that fight and tell me and anybody that watches this shit whether it's good or not. As a Halo fan, if you enjoyed it, that's good enough for me. Yeah, I mean, I'll watch it. I don't know how far I'll get into it. You know, if it. It's the first episode. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the content over here, I would ask that you like and subscribe to help grow the channel a little bit and help, uh, help me reach some more viewers. We are pushing for that thousand subs, uh, and every little bit helps. Thanks for watching.